right, let's do this. So far, we've basically done the impossible. Got all the species in the galaxy together to uh, play nice, at least for a little while. Work together for the common good. Put an end to this Reaper threat, which seems almost impossible, but hey, impossible is what we do. Got to kick Kai Lang's ass. That was the highlight of my day. Essentially put an end to Cerberus. Got them out of the fight. And that's a big thing, because they've definitely been helping the Reapers out in a major way. Is this someone docking in Normandy, huh? Commander, you've got a priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Hi, Commander. Oh, wow. Go all the way back to Mass Effect 1 when Admiral Hackett was just sending you all over the place doing little N7 missions, you know, taking care of problems as they would rise up. I think this is the first time we've actually got to meet him face to face. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. And I thought uniting every species in the galaxy was a challenge. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Man, it's always something. Alright, so we gotta go down to Earth before we can go back up to the Citadel. That's right, I wanted to place my feet on Earth one time anyway. I know James does. He's been itching to get back into the fight. I think everyone does. Maybe they can't get any payback for their planet at this particular moment, but they can go help, help us get some payback for ours. Everybody needs some payback, actually. Get tired of these machines. 
Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Wow, now that is an army. That's what I'm talking about. Warrior fleets accounted for and ready. Death fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Starship Troopers, <laughs> Star Wars, whatever. Gotta love this kind of stuff. This is a heck of a, of it, a everyone. space fight right here. Ready on my signal. Fire. Eh, it's a lot of bullets all going in the same direction. Damn. The Reapers have never faced this before. And this is what humanity was able to achieve, because remember, everybody, not just the Reapers, but everybody, has been individually and collectively working against humanity, watching humanity suffer from the sidelines. I mean, could they have made it any harder on us to just get them to, to work together for their own good? <laughs> they, they weren't coming together for humanity's sake. Sure enough, it's all centered on Earth, because we're considered the greatest threat to the Reapers. So yeah, they attack Earth first, but they were attacking everywhere else also. Thessia and the Turian homeworld and so on and so forth. Right? So it, it, this isn't just for us. It's just that the battle is cent centered here. The Citadel is here. You know, we got to bring the, the, uh, the Crucible here. Reapers can miss. Look at that. And they can be destroyed, too. That's right. Take that, you little bitch. But yeah, everybody's been working against humanity. And I imagine the Reapers have had agents in amongst all the other galactic races all along. Um, Solarian counselors, Turian counselors, the Asari counselors, maybe all of them. You know, they've all showed signs of treachery. Obviously, the human counselor, we know that. Well, he may have been an agent of Cerberus, but that's the same thing, being an agent of the Reapers. Cerberus was the Reapers' main agent in amongst humanity. They were that rogue element that the Reapers were able to take control of and uh, use their own cause against them to twist their logic um, to serve the Reapers' purposes. This, right Commander. here. Commander. This. Be careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Makes you think that Joker knows. That last show of respect is... There's a lot of endings here, people. A away. lot of Amber's endings. In position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Just wasted. So unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. I'm sorry, Shepard. I know how you must feel. 
Barely even recognize it. responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Ma'am? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. How do we do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crashed shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you, Shepard. This is so dirty. Now, Taking go, fire before you even get to leave the ship. This is where the Reapers are going to be at, the th at their thickest. Get off my planet. <laughs> Seriously. This is where you get to bust them just dead in the mouth. Do not want to get in crossfire up here. That's one thing I don't want to do. Battle to end before it ever even really starts, you know. In fact, if it weren't for having the best shuttle pilot in the uh, in the alliance, our trip might have been cut real short. I can deal with brutes. No fear of brutes whatsoever. Those marauders now. I do have a healthy respect for them. Give me a little charge here, please. Make sure he's down. a ride. Because Cortez is out of the fight for the time being. See ya. There's the shuttle. Keep an eye out for heavy weapon supplies. Ninety cane. Oh, being guarded by a what do they call it? Ravager? Yeah. curious about my setup here um i kind of like the way this visor looks <laughs> so i'm playing fashion effect here essentially but uh it doesn't really matter i like keeping one shield upgrade um in this case it's my visor but it could be arms shoulders leggings i, I don't think it really matters and everything else goes to power um, i believe it's the Ceres council i believe that's how you say it cerise cerise council whatever um, upgrades for your armor that give you power damage and then pretty much anything that gives a shield boost the shield boost is for strength of Nova um, more force than anything else and it's the ability to ragdoll enemies not that I wouldn't anyway but I like I like sending them Anybody, flying come in. we need extraction usually if they're airborne they're not going to be uh shooting at you now sometimes that's not the case sometimes cannibals can manage to shoot you anyway even if they're being ragdolled uh, i think that's a 
glitch, but I, it's happened to me plenty, so. Let's get this banshee out of the way, then we'll be fine. This is Commander Shepard. Any Alliance personnel in the vicinity? Yeah, see, you want, them, you want them gone. Sometimes it's an instant kill if you can get them off the map. But, uh... Yeah, one shield upgrade, um, not so much for survivability, really just for strength of Nova. I think it has more to do with force than actual power damage. And then everything else goes to power, um, power damage upgrades. And that's to give your charge a little more, a little more punch, really. Um, and I've got everybody on, um, now I'm not sure if this matters for companions. I never really... I never really did any testing to find out. I could probably go look it up, but I, it didn't really matter. But light weapons, I don't know if that affects your companion's cooldowns or not. Their uh, equipment weight. I know it has a huge factor in the ability to pull off these charges at Nova's, though. That, that cooldown needs to be at a solid 200% to maximize this build. That's one huge key factor. I've been asked, like, well, why don't you, you know, why don't you go to, for um, any bonus powers? Why don't you um, upgrade your weapons? Which we finally did. Upgrade my SMG when we were doing the, the Armax Arsenal thing, just for giggles, because I had a bunch of extra money. But outside of that, we really don't use the weapons. Um, my companion's weapons aren't really for damage. They're to procure the uh, Shatter effect, and that's, used, that's when I remember to um, activate my, my ammo power. That's really what they're for. And Shatter Effect is usually an instant kill when you can hit them with a charge or an Nova. And blow them up. Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here. Cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. You did what you had to, and now we're in a position to actually pull this off. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started, and Hammer better be ready for it. They'll do whatever it takes to win this. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. I'd credit Shepard for that. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Yeah, we had to unite all the species. Mainly to give the, uh, the Reapers a surprise punch in the nose. They did everything they could to... Uh, this from happening, and it happened anyway. They can't stop us. That is one thing that I think has the machines completely perplexed. It's something that doesn't, quote-unquote, compute, is that they can't stop us. Shepard is, is not to be denied. Period. Which makes you the ultimate badass in the galaxy. They couldn't set that up any better in this game, if you think about it. You are the ultimate badass. You can't be denied from the most powerful force against you in the universe, and you still can't be denied. Honestly, I was thinking that maybe getting all these people to work together might be harder than just doing this damn thing by ourselves, right? That was kind of the point of it. But uh, we did that. Did the impossible. We're going to make these people save themselves, um, whether they like it or not. 
Uh, it's really been that kind of thing. And this is going all the way back to Mass Effect 1. It's always been us against them. It really has. But that's not our fault. That's that's about them. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got troops coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's correct. I expected more of Hama would be here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. Soldiers get the job done no matter who's fighting next to them. Sure, they'll do their jobs, but they'll fight harder knowing you're here, knowing you're fighting beside them. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. There is something to that. Being here, Shepard represents the ability to get things done that can't be done. And just doing them anyway, just because. That's how it's always been. The bigger the enemy, the harder you throw your punch. And and don't ever back down. I mean, it's just... And that that's what it takes. And the rest of the species don't understand that. And the Reapers sure don't understand that. This kind of hope, this kind of tenacity... This kind of free will is, you know what? The irony here, it's what it's what the Reapers, it's what the machines throughout all the cycles, but the Reapers being first and foremost in this. But all the rest, Geth and all the different AI, I want to, what would you say, races? I don't even want to say race because they're not alive. But all the other AIs in the past cycles, the ones in the Prothean cycle and all the cycles before that, it's what they always wanted. It's what Legion wanted. Hey, Commander. How are you holding up? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Let's do to the Reapers what they did to us. Let's hurt them. Let's stay focused. Don't go losing the fight before throwing your first punch. I know. I know. You're right. So... I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Shepard. Right on, man. This right here is, is probably the most touching time of all the Mass Effects to me. Because this, forget the Mass Effect ending, quote unquote. This is the ending right here. This is actually the end of Mass Effect as far as I'm concerned. This is closure. This is, this is closure with all the people who Shepard has fought with and fought for. Each person is going to have their loved ones. You're going to have your friends. You're going to have your family back home. You're going to have all that, right? All right, and, and Shepard is no exception to that. All right, what's worth fighting for? And that's and that's who you do it when you lose all your resolve. If you want to break weak, if you have second thoughts, if you have doubts, you you muster the courage and you plug all the holes in that dam by thinking about your loved ones, those who you're fighting with. You know, you stare straight into adversity and and you just go punch it in the face to protect those who you love it, if nothing else. When all else fails, you know, and I mean, that kind of tenacity, that is something in the human spirit that I think the other species, don't, they don't quite get. Krogan's, I don't think, I don't think their value of life is the same as humanity's. There's, it's just an exception to the rule, and it's the rules by which the Reapers have always operated, and now we're breaking those rules, and it doesn't, it's not logical, it doesn't compute. And machines, they have no conscience, they have no regrets, they just do what they do. All this to them, there's nothing, they have no conscience. They have nothing to look back on and say, hey, we shouldn't have done that. 
The machines will do, do this just because it's quote unquote logical. We'll get an explanation for the logic and reasoning behind the Reapers and what they do later. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> that ought to get his attention. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. As promised, we didn't forget where you live. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. It can be rebuilt. People can't, though. Everyone needs to learn that. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times. Huh. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. You think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I wouldn't know what to do with all my time. Neither would you. Sign autographs? We haven't won yet. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. Shepard and Vicarian storming heaven. I guess there are worse ways this could end. But maybe some other day. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Damn. This is hard for me. This is uh, extra special to anyone who's played through the Mass Effect series and and lived it. You know, I mean, really gotten invested in the characters here and the story and the world they created. It's something yes, else, man. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're way south of your position. Rodriguez actually tore that little shoulder head off one of those Batarian things. It was great. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the crucible good to go. Oh, it's ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I'm glad you made it, Samara. The honor is mine, my friend. Your gift for inspiring confidence is needed now more than ever. You think it'll work for all these different people? Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. Farewell, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's gut the bastards. Is 
there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, ma'am. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill counts through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander. Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard. I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all... Everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda. Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Arlac Company is ready to go. You got enough ammo? <laughs> oh yeah, I got enough. Copy that. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. I'll even note one other thing. Getting to say, uh, well, getting to say goodbye to our friends. I mean, it's just simple as that, right? Because even that guy that was connecting us there uh, reminded me of that, uh, that guy down in the hold of the Normandy in Mass Effect 1 that sells you stuff <laughs> as long as you bring him licenses, right? I, even, I wouldn't doubt that it's even voiced by the same person. I don't doubt that they put this right here on, on purpose to help you vent just a We've little bit. On the perimeter. They can be pretty emotional saying goodbye to people who you, you know, fought next to and stuff, lived with. These are friends. These are almost loved ones. In some game. Well, with Liara, that would definitely be the case. I guess. At least as far as my ship goes. Therapeutic than a nice round of turret. <laughs> you know, finish this. Finish that crap off. 
Oh, thank you. ones here what's his condition how are the casualties we lost people some of the wounded here won't make it the reapers are closing in are you holding up Liara this is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes. to be done. Yeah, this is maybe a little too much feels. Yeah. <laughs> feels left to the left, feels to the right. Feels everywhere you look. Like I was saying, this this to me was the real ending of the game. This is where all the closures end. this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. We haven't won until we've crossed the finish line. In my cycle, we never even saw the finish line. 
but yours is out there. The end is in sight. You will become the avatar of this cycle, the exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I'll do whatever it takes. I didn't come this far to back down. A pity we did not know each other in my cycle. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. I believe that Hanar would welcome me. I could live like a king among them. Oh, no. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Protheans speak. It has been a privilege. The last Prothean still hasn't learned much, has he? Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. Imagine had things gone differently on Vermeer. Suck it up, Rick Dirkers! <laughs> what if we had to put down Ricks? Where would the Krogan future be then? In the hands of, well, someone much less desirable, I'm sure, right? Decisions have an impact. They definitely make a difference. This? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? Because I owe them for Thessia. And everywhere else. Our chances of victory are less than assured. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, lady. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard. There is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. She may just be logical, but well, at least she's not trying to kill us. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You know, I really am. I spent months talking to the Council. To admirals, to politicians. All to get to this moment. No politics, no diplomacy. Just us and them. One last time. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talisor of us, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. 
and then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. My buddy Tally. Man, been a good ride. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the Cypria. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. Mm. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less, and you're already dead. Expect no mercy. Show no mercy. You fight. Or you die. That's it. We know what we have to do. Fight or die. That's it. Time to go do this. And that's what we're going to do on the next one. If you want to subscribe, if you haven't already, click that button up top. And if you want to catch any of these Mass Effect playthroughs, you can click those boxes there. It should send you straight to the playlist. Appreciate you hanging out, and I will see you guys on the next one. We'll go take it to the Reapers. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.